Obi Balmans Rage, and welcome one and all to some more Hearthstone hijinks. Where today it's for the Horde! As I have built a deck where every single card is a glorious member of the Horde, from the Voodoo Doctor Trolls to the Amani Bazaka. Well, actually, technically speaking, Amani isn't part of the Horde because Amani were a splinter faction of trolls that weren't connected law-wise to the Horde. They opposed them. You raided them. You stole their fat loot. So I actually can't use that one, which means I need to find a replacement law, which I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put something back in I previously took out. Good old Frost Wolf grunts. We got the Mad Bomber representing the goblins. We got the Blood Elves. We got the Siege Weapons of the Horde. We got various Orcs of all shapes and sizes. Some more Trolls representing. We got the Warlords. We got the Glorious Tauren Mount. We got Khan himself. Sylvanas of the Forsaken. Go howl a specifically Horde weapon. And of course, Gromash Hellscreen, who was most certainly part of the Horde. This should be pretty good, and by pretty good, I don't expect to do that well, given there is no draw power, no spells, and only one weapon, but I am hoping that we might get a nice curve, and we can at least let our opponents know that we are fighting for the sake of the horn, and I think that really, honestly, is the most important thing. Now, last time, a lot of you were like, that shaman was not a bot, and, uh, yeah, a lot of the reasoning he gave was sound, and honestly, I don't really know specifically how bots work, so I was more inclined to believe that any really slow player, especially a shaman with sea giants, was a bot, but I guess I was misinformed as to how they play. Apparently, they don't card hover, they just inst they wait a while, but then insta-play, so there we go, which makes me realize that that guy is just really, really slow and bad at this game, but you know, whatever, we're at rank 18, dude's probably having fun, more power to him. So here we have a mage Zanka, who is going to be coining out something, which is going to get mad bombed. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two hits on the Geomancer. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for it to kill the Geomancer? It's going to kill the Geomancer. Look, you ready? No! <laughs> Damn you, mad bomber. Your crazy goblin ingenuity is really just unstable. Really, really interesting. Absolutely interesting. Ha ha! We have the power. No, let's guarantee it. I think <laughs> I don't want to risk another mad bomber after that. Go, cruel taskmaster! Send that kobold back to work. Back to work in his grave. Although I suppose from the Arathi weaponsmith, we do have the ability to what equip a weapon. Really, Archer into Ping. I love fighting at high ranks. I, I feel like you actually genuinely have more fun because you get to see, like, a bigger number of cards. Oh, God! There we go. For the Horde. How could I be anyone but Garrosh? Because he was chieftain for a fair amount of time. Thrall was also a valid uh, selection, but Garrosh has more Horde creatures to choose from, as well as weapons, which make it generally a more effective deck, because, you know, I do try and, I, you know, contrary to popular belief, I do try and win these things. So, what I'm going to do is throw the Wolf Rider into it, Cruel Trash Master to finish it off, and then, there we go. That's, you know, an okay turn with what I'm working with. Sylvanas is probably going to be a really important asset, but the problem with this deck is already rearing its head, and that is I am going to run out of cards very quickly. Though these Cruel Taskmasters being spot removals for me is really quite handy, especially to have drawn them both already. That is rather fortunate, if I do say so myself. And I am saying so myself. It turns out, guys, that I am me. Oh, I really wanted it to have hit the 2-2 in some cruel twist of irony. But alas, alack, it is not for us. Ooh, we got Grom all up in the house. I'm going to finish that, I'm going to play that, and I'm going to armor up, because I need uh, some uh, health. Uh, I say I need some health, this person's probably not running that much burn, probably the two fireballs and the two frostbolts that we've seen, given there's been quite a few basic cards going on, but that's okay. That is fine. Uh, I'm glad we've got Grom. I'm very glad. In fact, turn 8 Grom with a Mad Bomber and hope the Mad Bomber enrages him. That would be phenomenal. What 
do. Now, obviously, this was just going to get pinged, which means she's going to have four mana to play, and anything with less than two health is in... Two health or less is in very good chances of dying. I have no idea what that sentence was. I was trying to be like, anything with two health or less has got a good chance of being killed, but for some reason, I couldn't deform the words. Right, yeah, something with four health. Bomb it for two. Play... Oh... Boom! Get out the way. Ah, and a Frost Wolf Warlord. Don't mind if I do. Please bomb the opponent. Well, well I mean, really, that's, you know, that's a fair distribution. It's worth it for the extra point on that, because then a Flame Strike and a Ping won't kill it. It requires a little bit of extra investment. And now we are down to Legendaries of the Horde. Is there any major Horde characters that I've missed that I've not put in this deck? Probably. But I think, generally speaking, it's a pretty accurate representation. And of course, next week, would you like me to do For the Alliance? Those scum! But I will do it, and I will play... Who is the best Alliance character? Probably a Priest, given he's the son of the King of Stormwind. I don't think anyone else is. Well, Malfurion is probably fine as well. Jaina, I guess, but Jaina's gone a little bit off the rails. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably will be. Priest, though, I have to say. They do have some alliancey minions, and it's time for a bit of Grom action. Yeah, get bombed! Ooh, Frostwolf Grunt. Alrighty. Dun, 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 dun. Seeing as I have no way in the deck left to enrage Grom, I might as well just use him now. He's probably going to get polymorphed, but, you know, it's basically 8 mana for 4 damage. Value. Absolute value. I can't believe we're actually looking... Really? What? W what? Well played. Okay. I have no idea why that just happened, I'll be honest. All I know is that it did. I mean, technically a flame strike ping would mess me up because I could only follow up with Sylvanas and whatever I draw, but feel like deliberately enraging Grom to smack her about the face was probably not the best move. Maybe? I... yeah, no. And then another flame strike. Okay, so that is what... that's that's the only way that even slightly makes sense, but taking 10 damage is one hell of an investment for that. <laughs> oh, come on, I need to draw something that can do two damage. Ah, oh, I'm concerned. Because, I mean, if Sylvanas gets, like, turned into a sheep. Yep, that makes sense, obviously. Get rid of the Wolf Rider. Please, have no way of dealing with Sylvanas. No! Oh my god, I'm gonna put him to one hell with a sheep! Unless I can miss out. He's like, yep, there we go. Please hit me three times in the face. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Sheep to put her to one that is fantastic. Oh, we got charge anyway, so there we go. That is hilarious. Eh. <laughs> what a game. What a game. The Father Hard deck slaying Jaina. I am liking it. Alrighty, let's jump in to the next one. That went a lot better than I was expecting it to go. I will admit, I wasn't expecting a lot from that, given it's a minion heavy deck, but to be fair, it is kind of, it's got a nice curve to it, and it's got some good creatures, as well as some kind of bad basic ones, but, you know, a musty orphan, wow, I feel like there's an unwritten rule that you can't be offensive to orphans, hey, Anduin win, a lot of you said about Randuin win, which is something I'd never heard of, but apparently Noxious, I think Noxious was it, that's going to be awkward if I got that wrong, has done a load of RNG Randuin win, videos, and they're supposed to be quite good, so there you go, guys. I had no idea at the time. I just know a lot of you wanted an all-RNG deck. That King Crush moment, that King Crush, I just... Watching it back was just like, yep, yep. Go, Mad Bomber, blow something up. Great. Thank you. I wanted two barrels of explosives to the face. Thank you so much. Okay, so we can Cruel Taskmaster. Oh, well, I mean... It was either two to me and one to you, or two to you and one to me. It's not really a big variance, my friend. If that turns... Oh, wow. That is amazing. 
That is absolutely amazing. Is, are you done? Yes, of course you're done. I had the coin. Silly me. Well, I mean, I guess... I, I guess... Uh, um, I'm gonna... Do I am a rup? Do I see? I'm tempted to hit him in the face, and cruel taskmaster that because yeah, it'll buff it too. A ridiculous amount of damage, but then I'll have two things on the field, and he can't kill both. Though he might have a smite. Oh, yeah, I'll play safely, which involves just playing a vanilla taskmaster, which is awkward. But I need something on the field. I like, it's like whip, whip, whip. Who am I whipping? Who am I whip? Oh, there's no one to whip. Ah, oh, that is my job in life to whip. And I can't. Licorice whip. Uh, ah, he did have a smite. Good. That, that would have made the play I was considering really bad. So I'm glad he doesn't have that. And a swamp ooze. Vels, my friend. That is very interesting. But what I'm going to do is ignore it and hit him in the face for free. Because either he ignores it or he trades the free two for it. And then I've gained a creature and free damage out of that wolf rider. Or I raffy weapon smith it down. So in both cases... I've done pretty well for myself. A jungle panther? You think you're so good with your jungle panther? Yeah, hit me in the face. No, hit me in the face! Hit me in the face! Yeah! Well played, my friend. Well played. And by well played, I mean... <laughs> Look, ta. Oh, God! You think Grom is Garrosh even? That's the one? Is scared of a little bit of fisticuffs? Well, you are wrong. I mean, the panther's probably going to kill the free free. Which is awkward, but we're in a good position here. And we are basically immune to holding over. It would be a terrible play. Because it would be his entire turn and the panther would still have to trade. Or hit me in the face and I can trade. Mm. Ooh, he's, he was thinking about face? I don't really know what he's thinking of. Come on, Asher Chu PM! Come on, I believe. I Come on, I can... Yes, please, no, maybe. Sideways. All of that to play a freaking Dark Scale healer. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, yep. Trade the... Nope, that's your own creature. That's your own creature. You don't want to hit that. That's... Nope, that's... Yep. Well, you did it. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you, my friend. <sighs> Alright. Oh, Devudo. Alright, so we're going to do that. We're gonna do this. going to play Demolisher. And we are going to... Uh, play the Frost Wolf Grunt, because assuming no Holy Nova, which would be kind of bad, because it wouldn't kill the Demolish, it'd be his entire turn, and then he'd get bombed. This is okay, we've got two strong cards, we got maybe not as strong as one, poor Voodoo Doctor, looking pretty cool. See, the Voodoo Doctor technically might not be hot, but he is. Wow. Lucky. 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 Oh, that is so upsetting. Like, fundamentally, that is very upsetting. I can't believe he pulled that off. But now, c, -c, -c, c combo There it is. Like a boss, up to five. Oh, yeah. Best combo in the deck. There we go. <laughs> Brilliant. Absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Okay. Dun. Da da dun. Da da dun dun dun. Dun. Da da dun. Dun, 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 dun. That's my uh, things are happening. Oh, really? Well, I mean, that is a sensible decision. But now my 2-1 can trade, which is good. Though we are almost certainly going to lose this one. I am very low on cards. Very, very low indeed. Oh, oh the 4-5 for free mana. No, the healing up. Oh, no. That really was pointless, because now I can still trade for the 2-1 and get slightly better value. Ooh. What I could do here is, well, I mean, I could play those two, and then I could hit that, heal it back up, but that wouldn't really be that good. Or I could fully heal it, heal myself. Sylvanas is just a good solid drop. I mean, we're not approaching mind control or anything. I have no yeah, I think Sylvanas is the decision here. See what he does. I mean, he can't kill that, making Sylvanas useless. And if he trades into Sylvanas, Sylvanas survives, so it's kind of tricky for him to deal with. He can't def it or I get his 4 5. There's not much he can do here to successfully get around that. Interesting. What is your plan, Mr. Stan? 
who wants everyone to PM him with Ashachu. Ashachu? Yeah, Ashachu. I don't know what an Ashachu is. Sounds like a weird type of Pokemon. Sounds like, in fact, sounds like Ash has been genetically combined with Pikachu, which is just horrific for everyone involved, I have to say. I really do have to say it. The Ashachu is holding me hostage. It's really scary! <sighs> does he have to hover over every card he owns to make this decision? I mean, does he really? Like, legitimately? Come on, my friend. Come on, you can do this. Please? Please? Just please play a card? <sighs> Alright guys, I'm gonna need you to tell me a story. Get me through this. I realize, you know, time means that I won't be able to read it right now, but I will retroactively read it and feel better about this whole event. It took him his entire turn to do a useless attack and decide to heal himself, which really is just phenomenal. Please play something. Oh, please. Really? That was your entire plan? Why was that your entire plan? Oh my days. Okay, so we got our other heals, so I can attack into that and then heal up, heal up, get everything out of... Yeah, if I do that... Boom. Boom. And then we just go for it, guys. All in. Here we go. We're immune to Holy Nova. We're not immune to Holy Nova Pyro. That would actually be really bad. But, you know, I'm willing to risk it for the proverbial biscuit. He can finally Shadow Word Death that safely, which is what he was wanting to do. But that's okay. I've still got a veritable army of the Horde gracing the field. I must look like just someone who is so into the law that I just cannot handle having non-hard-based cards, which is fair enough. I can understand how someone would have that. I think he's going to wait his entire turn and then heal himself again, because I think he might. Grom would be great. Gorhowl would be great. Those two mainly, because Gorhowl is just nice seven damage, and along with what I have on the field, unless he clears me, he will probably spell his death, which is surprising, I'll admit. But, you know, we gotta, we got to wait for him to play another Hydrant Commander. Well done, my friend. Well, please kill her for free. Please, at least kill her for... Who are you aiming at? Who do you dislike the most? You kill the for free that is injured because he has the ability to heal up. Please, man. Well done. He did it. I'm proud of him. I am proud of him. Still a terrible use of his turn, but I am... <laughs> <laughs> for the hod, for the hod, Voodoo Doctor, bringing it home. There we go, lovely jubbly. That is the hod deck, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end the episode. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Would you like me to do a Fort of the Alliance next week, or do you have another suggestion? Please let me know, but for now, my name has been Rage, I'm going to like if you've enjoyed this, and subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye, Loctar Ogar!